Welcome to RV Hour, powered by Giant Recreation World. An honest talk about the RV lifestyle, travel, costs, tips, and everything you need to know. Each week, we'll bring you the best and most helpful info, travel hacks, and answer your camping questions. Now, here's your host, Larry McNamara, CEO of Giant Recreation World. And this is the RV Hour. And I'm Larry. And Dwayne. We are the host and co-host one of us is a producer, one of us is not. One of us is a CEO, one of us is not. <laughs> of, of this action-packed, action interesting content for RVers and RV enthusiasts alike. I'll tell you, that is a, that is what this show is all about. That should be exactly what it's about. And, yes, uh, and we have some great content. That we do. And uh, this is our 38th show uh, wow. uh podcast uh, in this new series of video podcasts yeah it's and i have great. to tell you something there's a big deal going on right now what you got uh i wanted to talk about what you're anticipating for the next two days whoa baby time oh my goodness my wife and i are having a baby yes so sir. we're doing this uh podcast a little earlier than normal that's right so if uh if i nod off it's uh just because you know it's early I haven't got a full cup uh, of coffee. He was advised he has to stay close to home. Yeah, got to stay very close. Dwayne is expecting their first child. Uh, yes, and yes. It's so exciting. Yeah. I saw his wonderful, lovely bride at the uh, the event that we hosted yes, at, sir. in downtown Winter Garden. That was a great turnout. Did really it was, well. It on was the show. so interesting. Yeah. And and I hope that the, the, the townsfolk realize that we are the, the go to guys if you need a, a golf cart repaired or a new one or parts. Oh, yeah. Or accessories. That's right. At our our giant specialty vehicles location. Yes, sir. Which is uh, right on the uh, the West Colonial Drive, in our what we call the West Campus. That's right. And if you're coming from Winter Garden downtown, it's right on Park, right at the end. Ooh. Just go straight through that light when it turns green, because I don't green. you know Duke I don't want to set set you wrong. But then yeah. the, and you take a right into their entrance and drive around the beautiful lake in our That's and right. our storage for the RV area. It is nice. It is. You know, it's just a very pleasant It's a pleasant thing. drive. Uh, we had to put in uh, speed bumps because people were tearing through there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So uh, but Came a quick cut through. You see, you never know what kind of content you're going to get. And this yeah, is all yeah. useful information. So knowing, that, knowing that the speed bumps are there, you, you know not to go fast. Yeah, don't go through that way. You know, and we, we designed them so that our, our golf cart could go between them. Oh, yeah. And also our, our forklift. Yeah, that's right. So it can go up through between them, just like a golf cart. But if you're in a car, you can't avoid them. Yeah. We are golf cart friendly, even our property. Absolutely. That's right. And pets. Don't worry about pets. We Ooh, uh, we also have uh, uh, water bowls. That's right. And, uh, you know, that we clean after yeah. use every time. But uh, Even in our parts department, we have those non-spill pet water bowls. We have all kinds of cool accessories uh, for RVs and for golf carts. Yeah, that's got the uh, good stuff. What was the one of the memorable things that you learned being in that uh, golf cart area? There are lots of different types of golf carts. Yes, there are. Just in the sense of um, even accessories that are in them, your turning capabilities, how fast they go. Yep. A lot of that storage, lock storage. That was a big one. Yeah. And uh -huh. uh, you know what I, I liked is that big, fat boom kicker. Oh, the kick, yeah. The that speaker they in got. that one, there, man. Woo. They got a subwoofer in that thing. That, man, that thing is, it rocks. It, it was probably... Uh, like a foot tall in oh, or, yeah. in in radii. Yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah, it is. Look at me showing off my uh, my that? math prowess. Radii. <laughs> you know, I would. Do you know now? Obviously, I can't remember the word we used in the last episode, but I'm telling you, that day I must have used it six, seven <laughs> different times. You know, it's funny. I did. Uh, I was reading a story, and they threw that word in there. Did they really? Yeah. Oh, it wasn't man. an RV story. It was, oh, really? It's a random story. A random oh, story, man. Story. You know. Yeah. You gotta watch my, the next episode. Uh, on one of my conservative programs I watch. You know. uh, there you go. All right. So All right, what do you got for us today? How to prepare your R V if you're going to get R V service. Yeah. Now, uh like all content, I do not pre read it. No. Pre read it. Uh I I I, I read their points and then I uh, expand using uh, giant recreation world knowledge. That's you right. Know? Yeah. So uh by the way. How many locations do we have? We have three locations. Where Winter are they? Garden, yeah. Ormond Beach, Palm Bay. Yes, sir. So we're we're anywhere in Central Florida. We're very convenient. That's right. We're also convenient, like if you're north of our our northernmost Ormond Beach location, yes. Jacksonville, or even or even St. Augustine. There's many reasons to come down to to, to give us a shot. Oh yeah. Primarily our Y buys. Yeah. 
that's, which, that's uh, which we have talked about many times. Many a time. Warranty forever, no cost to you, RV uh, priority, priority RV, RV network, network our, our camping club, which I still feel is our biggest one. The IP Camping Club. It, it's exclusive, and we make all the arrangements. It's hosted. Host. In other words, we go camping with you. That's right. Uh, so there's just a few, and there's so many yeah. more. Uh, right. I'm sorry, but, uh, you know, we were talking about how, what to do with your RV for service. RV for service. So I, I go off on about. tangents. So. Hey, that's, what, what, that's why we're here. That's why we have these right. podcasts. Hey, and the reason this came up is uh, some of the stuff, the service guys, we had just chatted it up the other day, and that's what they had brought to my attention of like, hey, there's a couple things that these guys, you can prepare your RV to get it into service, get it ready. Right, like uh, like the mafiosos would say to you, help me, help you, help me, help, you. help me. You know. you. <laughs> Not necessarily that, but uh, help streamline the repair. That's especially right. Especially if you're paying for it. Yeah. That means the longer it takes us, the more you pay, right? That's a fact. How about uh, clean out your uh, personal items prior to dropping it off yeah. or whatever? And yeah. uh, that's that's including all compartments, especially those that we'll have to get access to. Yeah, yeah. Uh, including storage areas and cabinets uh, of personal items, equipment, supplies. supplies. Yeah. Uh, technicians also often need access to wires and components that might be obstructed by your belongings. There you, you know, go. Talking about all along the floor line. Yeah, the floorboards you know, and that. Because a lot of people store their stuff in their RVs. They don't, you know, well, you know or there's, there's little places, about, you know. And yeah. if, uh, for instance, if if you uh, you have a leak in your shower, a lot of people use the shower uh, for storage when they're not using the shower. Oh for, yes. For when they pack it up and and go to or from. From their location, you know, yeah. Because yeah. it's a they're fairly secure. Out of the way area. Yeah, yeah. So it'd be nice if they opened that and it wasn't full of stuff. Full of stuff. You know. Yeah, that's a fact. Uh, and, uh, guns. Uh, uh, we've seen guns left in RVs, right, accessible, and you don't want that kind of stuff. Uh, yeah. You know, Medication. Money, cash, meds, cash. all that kind of stuff. Because, uh, you know, it's yeah. just not uh, kosher. Yeah. So to speak. And it's a lot because it could hold up the, if it's something very of value, it's in a sense they would have to contact you and it could which hold we up do. the process. Which we you do. Know? We need you to come and, yeah, come and get your stuff, stuff out <laughs> because I don't want to be accused of taking it. There you go. Yep. How about uh, wants to be live. give it a thorough cleaning? Yes. You know, cleaning the interior is very uh, convenient for our guys, including yeah. your countertops, floors, appliances. Uh, you know, a clean and organized space allows the text to work more comfortably. And, uh, and prevents any accidental damage to your belongings. To your belongings. You know? Yeah, man. You know, that he heaven forbid they try to move something and drop it. You know, yeah. things like yeah. that. We are human. Yeah. It happens. But, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. And also, like, I I'll even go further. Like, if you have pets, make sure you sweep around the dog hair because then our, our techs will be covered in dog hair. All yeah. Day. You ain't kidding. You know? Uh, yeah. Think of the others. Think of allergies, things of that nature. All that kind of stuff. All stuff to get your you things know. done faster. You take this next one because it looks like, uh, you know, yeah, you want to check for leaks or issues. Yeah. Okay, so before the service appointment, you want to inspect your RV for any leaks, unusual odors, issues that you'd like the technician to address. And then you can note these concerns to the so that you can discuss it with your technician at your service appointment. Yeah, and I want to expand on that because it's uh, all of our locations are, are very tight as far as the scheduling and appointments go. Yeah. And we're so far out, you know. We go to go at great lengths to, to make it as convenient for our customers as possible. Mm -hmm. But however, if you cold call needing an appointment, currently in Winter Garden, they're taking they're filling in uh, January appointments. Oh man, yeah, man. So that's you know? that's it's how it's only October. Yeah. So again, now does that mean we can't take an emergency or something? No, that's always no, no, part of, course. of the thing. Of course. But when we do, that means one of our guys has to work late to to stay on top of the schedule. Yeah. So when once you get your appointment, make sure that you have all the items addressed, and it didn't say it here, but contact us before your appointment and say that you have a few items to add to the list. There you go. Because they will be able to mentally make uh, make time for it. Get not. prepared. Yeah. Get all the tools, the accessories needed to fix it. Yeah. That's really fact. good. Uh, secure loose items. Uh, I can't yeah. say that enough, but uh, any loose or hanging objects such as, you know, curtains, blinds, decorations. That's right. Are, uh, make sure they're properly secured and prevent them from interfering with the area the tech has to work in. That's right. It's just you don't want somebody uh, handling your stuff. If you're going to need your window fixed, remove the blinds so that they can get access. Yeah. And uh, so if, you're, uh, if you're like a, a, a full-timer and you're living in your coach during the season or whatever. Oh, yeah. And uh, uh, 
make sure you secure your pets if you have pets inside there. Oh, yeah. That's uh, right. Keep them safely contained or remove them from the RV during the appointment. This yeah. ensures the tech's safety and allows them to work without distractions. Yep. Not to mention the fact that before we've opened the door, the tech's going in to get it to, to start working on it, open the door, and the cat lee runs. Cat runs out. Jumps out, and then, but guess what? Now we're trying to catch a cat. Yeah. And who pays for that? Who pays for You, that? the customer. All than everybody. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I have mentioned we have, we are pet friendly, so we there's are very no pet reason friendly. for you not to grab a, a leash, whether it's a cat or a dog or whatever, yeah. a ferret. I don't care what it is. What it is. Bird. Put it on a, lo- on a leash or secure it to yourself and go and wait the no, waiting area. There you go. We might have some nice pet friendly snacks for them. That we do. We might even have, like I said, a bowl, bowl of water because, oh. you know, in Florida is very common. Yeah. yeah. Gets a little warm out there. You, ain't you, you can take the next one. You know why? Because uh, I'm just so excited thinking about these pets. <laughs> Get it with it. So, this uh, turn off all your appliances. So, you want to turn off and secure all of your appliances, okay, including the refrigerator, oven, and the HVAC systems. Mm-hmm. This helps prevent accidental activations during service. Well, that's a big one. I know uh, it is a big one, especially since uh, many of the appliances are LP gas and they got yeah. uh, burners and stuff like that. That's right. We don't know what kind of stuff's going on yeah. in the shop. Now, I do know most of our techs check everything before we leave for the night to make sure everything is shut off and ready to go. But it's still, you want to make sure your RV is prepped before you even get it here. Yeah. Ensure safety. I always say also to shut off the LP gas. Yeah, the LP you know, gas is many a big ti- one. Many times, and I've seen it before. We're in there working, and the technician brushes up against the, the knobs off of mm-hmm. the stove. Yeah. And now it's now it's got gas spewing out. Just running. We don't even know. So if uh, the gas is on, that is, could be a, an issue, especially if it's left for night. Yes. Which I've seen. Yeah. We yeah. come in and we smell LP everywhere. It's going. Full we have to, uh, that could have been to, dangerous. We have to yes, be sir. very careful. Yeah. Right. But, uh, Make sure you uh, you provide access, you know, if your RV has specific access points. Yes. Like uh, engine compartments, service panels. Ensure they're easy accessible. Remove obstacles that may block them and the areas. Yeah. And point them out to the guys that are writing you up. Yeah, some of these things are so well hidden. That's really what it is. Even right. having a good thorough walkthrough with your technician when you're setting things up, point right. everything out, ask questions. I always say to take some pictures and email the service advisor with them. Oh yeah, that's if you a have good one. Specific yeah. item issue. Oh yeah, because you get ahead of the game on that. Yeah, yeah. they can Plus, check it out for you. Sometimes we have to order a part, and that keeps you ahead of the game. Yeah, it keeps so you ahead of it. Sitting here waiting for you. Yeah, that's a big one. Yes, sir. Uh, any issues? Make sure you document them. Don't go by memory. If you're That's like me, one. that that just fits fleeting, <laughs> you know. But uh, write down any specific guy and issues and concerns. Yeah, uh, you want the technician to address, and and having a clear list can help you ensure all the concerns are addressed during go. the service. You yeah. know, uh, many times we'll take copies of that list, even though we're going to write it on our itemized on, on our work order. Uh-huh. Sometimes the language we use may not match what's wrong with it. Oh, exactly. Okay. So it helps the technician too. Good. There you go. And then if you attach pictures, even we can't mess it. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. That's oh, the best way to do I it. I learned something in service, too. Oh, so what do you if get? you are taking a picture of an item, make okay. sure you use your finger and pointing at it because that gives us a, a reference of size. Oh, that is a good one. There you go. Yeah, man. Because in a picture, you don't even know. Yeah, especially, especially like a scratch or something. Whatever. Yeah, we have to uh, know the size of it and, and whatnot. Yeah, and nice. and, and a, fi- a finger's a great way to do that. Yeah, man. All right. So, uh practice patient oh my goodness Ooh, uh, that's one of the big ones <laughs> you know one of my uh, oldest son is one of our service writer uh, advisors in ormond beach okay and i think he would love to talk about it oh how yeah people the, need to practice patient practice patient that's yeah. why they deal with it constantly so that's why we we wanted to make sure that it's uh remember we're all in this together you it's know. us against them folks as yeah. a rule especially for talking warranty work yeah because the factories make it very difficult for us yeah and uh we have had some uh, discussions before where we had service advisors in here talking about it. That we have. But, uh, you know, basically we have to get a pre-authorization for every item that we're repairing. And we have to give them the, what they call the three C's, condition, cause, and correction. There you go. With uh, with the flat rate, all the numbers, before they will say yes. Before they even get going. Before they say yes. Yeah. Then they'll say, I need a picture of that. So we sent it. And then we leave a message for them because they didn't call us back. Yeah. And then they uh, we email them and they didn't email us email back. back. So it can take days just for one item. Just to get in contact. And this is not inducive of good customer service, especially if you're trying to wait. Yeah. Makes it tough. <laughs> now, we have some internal 
policies involved to help alleviate that. In other words, if we feel it's something they're going to approve, we go ahead and fix it. Yeah, take care but of it right away. If we t- if they know that, then they won't pay us. Yeah, you know. But I think and that's bad. It is. It's tough. It makes it difficult for everybody. Yeah, you know, uh, our technicians are highly trained pros, and uh, they work to diagnose and repair issues. So be patient and cooperative because right. they have to deal with some of these. Uh, I call it the red tape. And yeah. and also parts is still an issue getting parts timely. Yeah. yeah. And the right parts because right during, part. during the COVID. There were many OEMs that went out of business, so the the manufacturers, so that they could continue selling RVs, yeah. would go find what they whatever they could. Some of it at the Menards up there in, in Indiana. So again, it doesn't match what the the book says. Is the book is to there. there. Yeah, it's so, not an exact piece. Again, lastly, ask questions. Ask questions. You know, uh, feel free to ask questions to, or seek clarification on any aspects Always. of the service process. A good tech will be happy to explain the work. Or, or even better, the, the service advisor, because they have to uh, make sure that the work is that's being done is quality. Yeah. I yeah. call it they have to QC the work. Got to get know? that QC. Plus, they're the ones that saw it while you were being written up. Cause yes. They don't sit, sit in their office all day and write you up. They will go out there and, and look at the issues just Walk so that they can with. help the technician understand. There you go. And uh, so, so that we don't miss anything and we fix everything right. Yeah. That's a big it's a big deal. Yeah, I and mean, I walk through. Here's a good in, uh, instance. I, I found out that uh, some of these uh, uh, water heaters that are uh, uh, like Insty. Oh, okay. That uh, if you don't turn the heat up, the the water on high, hot first. Right. It it doesn't. It won't maintain when you turn it down to what's comfortable. Oh, the comfortable level. So then people, there you go. People think that uh, it's not working because uh, they turned it to they turned it to their their desired heat and then went in to take or start taking a shower. And progressively, it got colder and colder and colder. Oh, man. It's not an issue. It's just how they're designed. Oh. So, hey, folks, we'll be right back after this short message. Get ready for the RV event of the season. Join us at Giant Recreation World for the Fall into Savings RV Sales Event, where you'll find incredible deals on the latest models from top manufacturers. All new and select pre-owned inventory comes with a free lifetime warranty. Take advantage of new inventory plus new sale prices and markdowns. Hundreds of units on display. Enjoy great giveaways like a $300 gas card. Don't miss out. Even get a great deal on a golf cart. All three locations, Winter Garden, Palm Bay, or Destination Daytona. September 28th to October 1st. Visit them at GiantRecreationWorld.com. Hey, folks, wasn't that interesting, that That old discussion? I like it. You know, we just got done this past weekend with uh, our fall into savings, RV RV promo at all three of our locations. That's right. Yes, sir. Locations are in Palm Bay, in Ormond Beach, and in Winter Garden, where we host this show. You know, I'm sure that's probably not cool banging on the counter. Because no, no, it, we've got a good. It might have rumbled right up in your uh, in your business, especially if you got one of those big kicker speakers I was talking about. Don't blow out your system. <laughs> Wait. So, <laughs> with that being said, we decided because of all the rain and the torrential downpour. That's right. Even though it was very successful, not everybody wanted to come out. So, we're opening back up for this weekend. It'll okay. end uh, on what the uh, October fifteenth. October fifteenth. Yes, sir. You know, and. Uh, there's a Brand X free RV show Ooh. Uh, out there in town. So with that being said, it's not real. It's, it's just one real. dealer. That's right. He has no. Uh, it's not a show. No vendors. You can't call it a so show. So basically, let's call it an RV sale that they're having an in RV the sale. parking lot somewhere. Yeah. For some reason, they do that when they're still local and have bricks and mortar locations. Yeah. That I I just, don't, dupe, I just don't understand. I think they try to dupe the people. Well, let's think it's exactly bigger than what, what it is. is you know? Exactly what that yes. is. Right. No. Sir. Not not cool. No, hey, not cool. Brand X, that's not in support of the RV industry. Yeah. The lifestyle, the people. Right. It's all about. That's right. Anyhow. And I'm told our, our Central Florida RV show will be happening this year. Yeah. And it, I think it's in March. Yes. But uh, That'll be again, exciting. It's just a little wink, wink. That's a real RV show as sanctioned by the... Florida RV Trade Association. Big difference there. Yeah, that's a real RV show. It's a real RV show. You know, we have campgrounds that are going to have a booth to tell you all about they got. They got all kinds of vendors. Oh, yeah. A lot of more. Ca- uh, a lot of more. A lot more <laughs> campgrounds have come about now. You know, they're springing up everywhere. There's a lot of really nice places to take a trip to. Yeah, well, get nice. Uh, I, I, you know, hey, what we were talking about uh, what to do 
prior to your RV service appointment earlier. That's right. Now I want to talk about what to do if you have a tire blowout. That's right. You know, safety first. Safety first. Uh, I want you to first stay calm when it happens. Number one. It could be startling mm -hmm. and uh, keep a firm grip on the steering wheel. That's right. You know, maintain, maintain control, avoid sudden or sharp steering movements, gently grip the wheel and try to keep the RV rolling in a straight line, whether That's it's a motorhome or a travel trailer. That's right. You That's know. a good one. Uh, activate your hazard lights. Yeah. Let everybody know. Yeah. Immediately turn on the hazard lights to alert other drivers that you're experiencing an issue. That's right. And this is not when it's uh, pouring rain because that's not supposed to be a, a flasher situation. No. Never put your flashers on in the rain. I know, but it seems like a lot of people, people do. People, stop you know? it. Stop it. I, I see semis sometimes do it when there's a stop up ahead. Like, oh, uh, yeah. That... Like a traffic jam or something. That's fine. That yep. means there's an issue. You can learn a lot from those truck drivers. You sure can. I'll tell you what, when they're doing the, even the flash the lights when passing, I like that stuff. Right. Uh, gradually slow down. Don't take your foot off the gas pedal and allow your, uh, you know, at, or take your foot off the gas, gas pedal. Gas pedal, yes, yeah. And allow your RV to slow down gradually. Yeah. Do not slam on Don't brakes. Don't slam on the brakes. That's the biggest one, right? Don't yeah. panic. Yeah. Find a, a safe spot. Mm -hmm. Look for a safe and level place to pull over and uh, like a rest area if you can make it there That's or a, a wide one. shoulder. Yeah. You know, if necessary, continue driving at a very reduced pace until you find a suitable location. There you and go. that would be in the uh, in the emergency lane. Yes, sir. You know, keep your lights on. Right. Keep those hazards going. Let everybody know. Call for help. Call for I'm help. Sure about uh, changing the tire or don't have the necessary equipment, which most of the time we don't. That's right. You know, call for the roadside assistance. Yeah. Many RV clubs and insurance providers offer that. Uh in Florida, we have the uh, the dial uh, five one one or whatever. Yes, uh -huh. uh, and and they they supply road service. Come but, out to uh, get you if you buy an RV from Giant Recreation World. I hope we sell you our road service package. That's right. Uh, which is, uh, I mean, th it has so many benefits. I don't even want to take away. Oh yeah, that's, do that's all. You're having it, but it is a it is a blowout. You know, the motorized motorhomes don't come with spare tires anymore. No sir, they certainly don't come with a jack. Because they don't, the, it, the chassis is too heavy. Yeah, you should they don't not want be you doing that. on the side of the road, jacking it up with a bottle jack or anything. Yeah, that'd, yeah. that'd be dangerous, man. Right. So uh, these roadside assistants have, you know, they have professionals that come out with floor jacks. That's right. They have ways to to chalk it up and make sure it doesn't roll and keep do it safely. Slap they have uh, air pressure. Get, you know, some of these, some of these big Class A diesel motorhomes, you won't be able to break the the lug nuts. Oh I mean, yeah, yeah. Unless you have a, a impact wrench. An impact wrench on it, yeah. There's no way. And we're not talking one of these uh, those cordless impact wrenches. We're talking about a a real a three quarter inch impact air driver. Yeah, yeah man. Wasn't that good? That was good. Nice. Yeah, I like that one, but, man. Uh, Crazy. Yeah, they don't want you to be changing those tires at all. You know, we have a thing in parts at all of our three locations mm -hmm. that. Uh, Basically, it's it's you you drive if it's a towable travel trailer, it's a it's a, like a big wedge, but you uh, put it at, uh, in front of the one that you need to change, and you pull it up on it, and it lifts it uh, off the ground safely. Okay, just enough. And to... now you can access the the blowout tire to replace it. Uh, oh, that's nice. It's, it's a uh, they make a couple of the different types, but I think the inventor of that was Anderson. Oh, itch. very nice. Anderson Itch. Itch. Yeah. yeah. Check that out. And That's a lot a of people one. use those also for uh, if they're really off level. You know, then they'll just use that level. to level themselves. Oh, yeah. You know, good. So you can buy a couple, three of them, you know, and really. Use them where needed. Use them yeah. wherever or whatever you need to, need to use it. But oh, it's very good to use. Yeah, man. Yeah. Uh, very nice. That is that. And it works like a charm. Yeah. We have to check one of those out. Yeah. Um, but uh, where were we? Oh, uh, we called for help, so use your safety gear. Yeah, if you decided to try to take on this yourself, because you have one of these Anderson lifter thingies. That's right. Or you have a floor jack. Some people even bring them <laughs> themselves. <laughs> that they do. <laughs> you know, ensure that you have uh, safety gear, like you have reflective vests or something, If you're, especially if you're on the uh, the roadside. Oh, yeah, yeah. Bro <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Nice, that's, nice. That's a segue, guys. <laughs> uh, warning triangle. Bring it up, you know. Those. Make sure your RV is visible to other drivers. Yeah, that's a you good know? one. Yeah. And if you're like my wife, you uh, have some some traffic cones always. Yeah, I was gonna say, little road flare action. Yeah, yeah I mean, that's all cool. Traffic cones. You know, yeah, 
they they every you know Walmart and even us uh, that we sell little emergency uh, box you know pre pre contained things that yep. have things like yep. like gloves you know it has things like uh, those little triangles that you see it you know if if a oh, semi pulled yep. over yes you sir know? they're just made out of plastic some of them actually have a strobe light in them oh well you know really? oh, and it's very good neat. stuff and it's very very inexpensive yeah and you it know? keeps you safe that's right yeah but yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. make your RV visible to others so you don't get uh, you know. Kilt. Yeah, don't want that. Uh, the follow your uh, your RV manuals instructions, Ooh, especially with that, you know, because uh, the it, manual will give you guidance on locating the spare if you have one and using the jack properly. Safely, yeah, yeah. No, kidding. Each RV may have different, uh, you know, procedures. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm sure. guilty. I ha- I had a blowout in my truck, and I honestly didn't know where anything was. Oh man! And they're making them better and better, so they're very well hidden. Deep inside. <laughs> Did you have to use the uh, owner? I have an SUV. So oh, yeah. there you go. Yeah, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's tough. It's not like the old days when you lift up the, the trunk carpet and there's everything. Yeah, everything's right there. Yeah, <laughs> usually you just lift it back. It's got the tire, the jack, and yeah. ready to go. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, uh, hey, replace the tire and carefully change the damaged tire with a spare. Uh, s- yes. Securely fasten it and double check that all lug nuts are tightened properly. Yes, sir. Now that's that's a, that's a, a big ver- one. That's a very big one. Uh, yeah. And and uh, me- some of them even have torque ratio ratio. Oh yes, yeah. Torque it. Uh, and on new trailers, by the way, they all not only trailers, but after a couple of hundred miles, you're supposed to pull over and retorque the lug nuts. Cause oh, really? When when it's a new wheel, you're tightening them lug nuts on paint, and sometimes that paint. Oh, it'll kind of loosen, it'll loosen it up. Oh goodness, yeah. that's so, a great uh, that's a great tip, right? That there. is a good yeah. So you'd good. say every couple of hundred miles you're supposed to kind of no, give it a, just at, in the first couple hundred. First couple you know. hundred, gotcha. Once and you're then brand new, just gotcha. like when you before you you're supposed to go on a trip in your car, you're supposed to check all fluid levels, yeah. check your air pressures. All, that's a good time to do all that check stuff. Check all your luck. before you go on a trip. Oh but, yeah, that's uh, a good one. Yeah, good, that good. is a good one. And uh, uh, what else? A lot of people forget when they do check their air pre- air pressures in in their tires right. to check the spare. Oh, check because it's a real in the pain spare. in the butt. If uh, you go to put your spare on and it's flat. Yeah, that's a fact. And sometimes they are. Yeah. Now, well, used to, too, uh, I remember first car Camry, they uh, they would deflate it a little so you could get it out of the, the back trunk area. And then as soon as I put it on, I had that same, like, the tires have deflated already. And it was, oh, that's that's for the use of just to get you to the gas station, and I always thought that was wrong. Like, that is a messed up. I, uh, I don't like that, Camry. That's a bad idea. Yeah, yeah. You know. Not good, not no. good. So check you're your not tire gonna be, pressure. You're not going to be pulling many Camrys or RVs with a Camry, though, because it's a front-wheel no, drive, front and I think wheel. it has a 1,000 pound capacity. Nothing. You can't tell no, nothing, nothing, right? All right. All right, on to the next. Hey, drive cautiously after changing the tire, you know, uh, until you get to the next service center. Yes, Because, yeah. uh, you know, I think it's kind of like everything. Things come in threes. Mm-hmm. So if you have a blowout, if you didn't hit like a, a road hazard or something that caused it, yeah, your tires probably were in need of replacement. Oh, okay. So uh, some there. Make sure you go to a service center right away. Yeah. Number one, you have to replace your spare because you, you you have no. You normally you don't have two spares. Yeah, exactly. So now yeah. you're uh, now you're you're, <laughs> you're risking it. You're very very. But risky. have them check all your tires. Yeah, you know? that's fact. And those China. China tires that some RV manufacturers include, uh, most, should I say, yes. most RV manufacturers include on their RVs, uh, are, aren't rated for, for 70, 80 mile an hour speed. Yeah, doing that kind of speed. So, doing again, kind of... and that voids the warranty on them. Yeah, on the that's, hot road. That's a down low thing. I don't want to tell you about that. But many of our uh, manufacturers we do uh, will use the good years, which uh, yep. are, a lot of them now are made in China, too. Yep. It's unbelievable. Crazy. I don't know. I don't know if there's an American other than maybe Cooper. Uh, that is an American made type. American, American I made don't know. Imported rubber. You know, when we talk about that, uh, I've said it before, but I wanted to say it again. Things Trouble. like Reese Hitches. Yes. Uh, they're supposedly made in America, mm-hmm. but not technically anymore. They take the uh, steel from America, which is a higher quality steel. Okay. And ship the the steel raw steel to China, oh. where they fabricate the steel that we supplied them into hitches, and ship it back 
So that's all cheaper than we can do here in house. That's a bad thing. That is a bad thing. That's really how they. Do that, that is that's exactly how, they, how they and many others do it. Whoa. See, isn't that terrible? And I'm sure they're yeah. not the only one. Yeah, man, that's. But tough. you know, we have the, the the big steel unions and all that kind oh, of. Oh yeah, stuff. yeah. That they're all got their hands in it, playing they a part. Do. Everybody got to get their cut. Yes, sir. But, uh, I hope our our what to do in a tire if you have a tire blowout was helpful. Yeah. You know. Hopefully it helps. Always call service technicians. So, so we're guess what? Going. We're going to talk about Bartos Quarter. Yeah. So Always a good time. What a beautiful RV we're going to focus on first here. Very, very nice. How about, it's a, a 2023 yep. brand new Forest River Riverstone. See, the Riverstone is as high end as we have. Oh, yeah. And this is a, a reserve model with a 3850 RK for rear kitchen. There you go. Uh, it's uh, Let me walk you through it here since I'm looking at a floor plan. Got a nice floor plan for you. Maybe it's up here. I don't know. Maybe it's it's up, up here. here. Yeah, there you go. Maybe it's up there. But uh, yeah, <laughs> when you walk in the uh, the entry of it, which is basically right in the middle. Yes. It's located right in the middle on the curb side. Curbside. <laughs> I like it. You'll you'll basically you'll walk in on on and just right ahead of you is like a, an an easy glide sofa bed on the far wall, which is in a slide. Oh yeah. And then across from that, you have uh, a desk. Uh, with that's that's standard a desk. You can get other things in place of it, but then okay. you have a a pull out uh, dinette booth. Yes, sir. Uh, next to that. And when I said rear kitchen, the benefits to rear kitchens is that the, you have all kinds of kitchen space, Back countertop to, space. So yeah. if, uh, you know, it's a gourmet kitchen, in my opinion. Yes. Yeah. With and the, that, it's a big deal to a lot of people. They want to make sure they can supply full meals for their family. It's not yep. just in a little microwave-y thing. This we're, is... Yeah. High, we're talking high, a large residential uh, uh, refrigerator. Oh, yeah. That's operated by a huge, you know, inverter. Mm-hmm. So you can run it off of, off of your battery if you want to. Yeah, anything you need. You know, it has a, a, a real size oven and stove. Oh yeah. You know, um, the, you have you have uh, and and it it makes basically a big U for mm-hmm. that whole ki- kitchen. Then uh, then you have uh, uh, another theater seat sofa that faces the the TV. So it's got its own living area with opposing slides. There you go. Half of the kitchen has a slide out, so it's huge. It's huge. And then you go down the side aisle. It has a side bath with his and her sink oh, yeah. and a huge shower. And this is high end, too, because it's, it's a glass shower uh, enclosure and oh, all. Yeah. It's beautiful. And then you have your, your huge king bed that's in the bedroom slide. There you go. Isn't that awesome? That is. And then you have a huge uh, uh, closet across the very front. And it also has a its own stackable washer and dryer in there. Oh, there you go. Yeah. And I like that you said full size with the stove and the refrigerator, right? You, you, nothing is compact when it's you get in there. It's just like home. Perfect. Yeah. yeah, and you're used to, you know, if you have a gas stove, you know how, exactly how to use it. Yeah, that's a fact. Yeah, uh, the list price of this is a, a staggering almost $160,000. Whoa. Uh, we have it marked down over 52000 to 107555 there you go. I challenge you to find a river stone out there in that price range. No way. No way. Barto, good job. Nice job. Did very good in picking that particular unit. Yes, sir. Now, uh, did I say we we extended our sale? Oh. So that means everything on the lot is really reduced, really low price. Oh, yeah. So make sure you come out and visit one of our three locations that I, I can't tell you enough about, you know, whether you're, you're down south like in Fort even Fort Lauderdale. Oh, yeah. We're worth the wait, the trip. Not even that far. Right. If you're out in Cal- Ocala, we're worth the wait, the, the trip, you know. Come it's on only there. an hour from any of these places I'm talking about. Yeah, man. Our closest location to you. And then you can reap all of our benefits. So, yeah. hey, folks, we'll be right, yeah, right back after this. I don't know what we're going to talk about, but let me guess. RV, uh, VIP. 
Football season is golf cart season. Check out Icon and Epic at Giant Recreation World, home of Giant Specialty Vehicles. More than golf carts, the hottest electric neighborhood vehicle. Fastest in the industry, four-wheel disc brakes, seatbelts, full-color digital display, speedometer, odometer, charge meter, and more. Plus, all Epic carts have higher impact glass windshields and upgraded seats with matching body color stitching. New inventory colors and styles. Giant Recreation World, Central Florida's number one RV dealer, and the best place to buy, rent, or service golf carts. And Winter Garden Giant Specialty Vehicles at Giant Recreation World. Com. Welcome to RV Hour, powered by Giant Recreation World. All right, folks, thank you so much for waiting for us. We're back, and we are packing. Let me tell you, we have great content, and, and as promised, our, uh, our Giant Recreation World RV centers with three locations, Palm Bay, Orem Beach, and Winter Garden, yes, sir. we host an annual gala event for our VIP camping club members oh. called the... Uh, called our our grand rally uh this year it is going to be held at the uh camp margaritaville in auburndale now that's only a two or three year old complex so it's brand spanking new brand. and it makes me think of uh the the late jimmy buffett which we lost to a great talent well we did you know but uh we are going to be celebrating that whole lifestyle that he was portraying yes you know the beach bum, the margaritas, you know, yep. the, the easy living, the RV living. Cheeseburger you know? in paradise. Exactly. And uh, we're certainly going to have those at the rally. Oh, yeah. And, uh, it's it's uh, the, the November 1st, or 3rd through the 5th. 3rd through the 5th. 2nd Second through the 5th. Unbelievable. Oh, man. Maybe you should have let yeah. me write it down. You are my favorite podcast. Host. It is. The, it is the do. beginning of November, folks, <laughs> and uh, there's many people that that go a couple days later uh, and stay a couple good. days later. Yeah, early and later because because number one, how can you not enjoy, not enjoy Margaritaville Campground? I tell you, it is. Do you know I went this past weekend just to go check everything out? Right, there's already people staying there. I, I, we're sitting there looking at it as the RVs are pulling in. We put stickers, Giant Recreation World, on the back of some of our RVs here. That's true. And as soon as they come in, boy, you can see them like, hey, those are people getting ready. That was a great brainchild we uh, discovered to put those decals on the back of the oh, RV. Because they are also, uh, uh, what, they they glow when you hit them with yeah, light? they're uh, holographic. Holographic or whatever. Yes, so uh, they stick out like a sore thumb. Yeah, and man. it's basically just says GiantRecreationWorld.com. Dot com. Yeah. So, uh. It does uh, gear a lot of people towards that, yeah. and then when you and then and and if you're a, one of our VIP members, we have uh, we have flags that uh, stick in the ground that that uh, show your your the amount of campouts you go on. They're, yeah, different colors mean you're you're a long term. You've been on lots of campgrounds or yep. not. Everybody yep. gets starts out with a white one. That's right. Well, the, the creme de la creme is the red one. Ooh. You know, bam bam bam. And then we have it one goes. of our one of our members makes hand carved ones yes that's even higher than the red ones. yeah so yes. again uh we'll tell you all about it if you if you want to come, come on and ask any one of our salespeople or yeah. any one of our employees and they'll tell you all about it get involved in the rv lifestyle. yeah but this uh grand rally that i'm talking about we, we'll get out uh daily tournaments seminars vendors scheduled kids activities food drink entertainment it's all at all there so visit www.vipcampingclub.com to register, uh, spots are running out quick. So make sure if, if it is interesting to you, this late in the game, you need to do it real quick. Yeah. You have to camp in an RV, either rented or purchased from Giant Recreation World to go yes, to this event. Yeah. And I, I've as I've heard, we've gotten a lot more rentals just for the event because people want to, they just want to dip their toe in, see if this is something they'd like to get involved in. That's right. Now, it's going to uh, it's gonna be really hard to comp- our, for our our monthly events smaller events yeah. to compete with the grand rally yeah. but they do but they do they yeah. do yeah so we're going basically it's no passport required is the is the uh the theme, theme this year yeah, the yes theme. sir and uh that's awesome margaritaville all that kind of yep. stuff uh don't yeah. step on a pop top yeah you know? so what i've also heard we did the the no passport is they're going to have a casino night right uh new orleans night things of that you know and we all dress up it's a Everybody it's a gets, heck of a great yeah. time but on, on thursday basically it's mardi gras so there it is that's what we're doing yeah so as we and and jazz daddy o's is uh gonna be followed by the karaoke which you know larry will be up there oh singing. yeah we're gonna be singing. But, uh, 
So yeah, we're gonna party with Jazz Daddy O. Yeah, that's the the guys. They walk around the line yeah. of jazz guys walking around. All that kind of stuff. Pretty neat, you know. And uh, we got uh, we got Friday where we head to Vegas. Hey, uh, hey, bring Vegas out your dancing shoes. Empire will get us moving. You know? Yeah, so uh, very good band. And and that's a a heck of a, a Vegas uh, quality show. Oh yeah, that'll be yeah. fun. Yeah. And then Saturday. And I think we're doing Vegas games in that too. Yes, we are. Fun. I'll yeah. play me some some uh, blackjack. Maybe yeah. learn how to play some craps. Ooh, you know. craps is fun. Yeah. Craps is. Uh, and, and Saturday it's uh, Margaritaville. Enjoy the beach theme night and uh, be a yeah. beach bum. Oh, that's you know. fun. Wear some flip flops that night. Yep, and so you don't step on a pop top. That's right. <laughs> Yeah, so there's three opportunities to dress dress up for for each event. Might get we cool also shirt. we also kind of give prizes for the best uh, for the best outfit. Yes, so. best dress, best and real golf. So, uh, hey, it's all fun and games. Many people decorate their golf carts that they do to match the event for each night that they do. We, Margarita Bill. You know, we also you know when we say tournaments, we we whatever is available to us, even in the area, yeah. we we take advantage of. Whether That's right. A golf tournament that's not for everybody, but we'll be doing that. We'll be doing that. Yeah. Uh, shuffleboard. Shuffleboard. Bocce ball. Bocce. You know, whatever we can think of. Yeah. We don't do yard darts anymore because of a funny story. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> but we're probably going to have a, a cornhole tournament. Yeah, that we will. Yes. No yard darts. No yard darts. Those are uh, death, death spears, if you want to know what I'm talking about, right? <laughs> but, oh, uh, goodness. Yeah, I think the uh, golf tournament this year is at uh, Shalimar Creek and Country Club. Oh, that's yeah. a nice spot. Usually, usually we'll have about four, four or five foursome. Yeah, there yeah. you go. That's fun. Uh, and that's very fun. And yeah. I certainly will be taking care of that. Taking yeah. Care of that. yeah, that's a fun one. And we've, uh, we have awards for the longest drive, closest to the pin. Oh, yeah. Uh, we also, uh, it's $29 a person. So. That's a heck of a deal. We were able to uh, you ain't kidding, you know, negotiate for everybody. Yeah, play a full round of golf. You ain't kidding. Boy. Uh, so what else you got? We always open it up for anybody that's uh, volunteering. Okay. We, we we openly ask people to volunteer. Yeah. And yes, and uh, a large large part of this uh, this is gathering that we have is also geared to uh, create uh, income for our our NVHS, which is the National Veterans Homeless. Uh, support something. I think it's support. Yeah, support. Yeah. And it's it's a uh, Brevard County based husband wife team. Basically, yes, sir. That uh, uh, go out and rescue homeless veterans, give them a helping hand. Whether right. whether if they want to stay, you know, off grid, we supply them with all kinds of uh, the toiletries and usury really things, do. blankets and whatever they need. Yeah. But we also look for ones that want help, and we'll actually get them housing. And get them in, uh, oh, back on their feet. Yeah. And uh, they uh, last year they they rescued all, all over a hundred. Yeah, over a hundred. Over a hundred veterans. veterans. Yeah. And uh, they're still to this day doing awesome. Yeah. And uh, that's it. We we contribute to that because all of our money goes to that. Goes. That they do. Yeah. yeah. And we've done episodes on. So if you're ever interested in right. the program, one of the greatest programs ever. We have episodes on our RV hour about that. Right. I mean, we they work. We work all of our. Uh, 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 OEMs and our manufacturers yeah. for donations that we can raffle off that all the proceeds benefit them. That they we do, do 50-50 rabble, raffles where most of the time the winners will also donate their 50%. Yeah. Uh, I want to just mention to their group, they don't um, just donate money to people in need. These are the people that go like into the woods. They go right into the find woods, people find them, that talk need to them. that and get them out of these situations. That's right. You know, it's, uh, it's something... It's pretty incredible. It's pretty powerful. My uh, my late father, Don McNamara, our founder. Yes, uh, sir. He was a uh, uh, in the Marine Corps, and yep. uh, he loved this uh, this group because they're so small. You know. Yeah. It's very personal. Very personal. Yeah. That's what I mean. It's not just a big conglomerate just putting these monies doing no, fundraisers. It's, it's none of that kind of stuff where they take everything off the top, and and then only a portion of the money goes towards the uh, the cost. Yeah. I think they said some ninety eight percent, some ninety. That's right. Goes to their company, not their employees, and that it's just it's a very you got to check this program out. Yes, you yep. do. NVHS yep. dot com National Veterans Homeless Services or Support or something like that. It's terrible for me not. To I'm going to put it. We're going to Google it in there. It is. Yeah. It is. Horrible. Maybe we'll put a link. Yeah, you know, we'll put the link on in there. The, on the website, sir. How about some more uh, 
RV uh, specials from, from Bartos Corner. Oh, we got a lot more on fire. Yeah, Go well, uh, I did say we extended our sale again. That we did. Yeah, and and we also are included our golf carts, so they're all on yes, sale. Yeah, yep. Uh, we have electric bikes in all of our RV parts areas. That and, we do. And over at uh, Giant Specialty Vehicles. And okay. these are high quality, man. That's right. I rode one around, if you know. Uh, I rode one around. It was great. Yeah. We awesome. got we got video. You check yeah, it out. There's video. There's video. Check that YouTube video. Team. That. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, how about a, a a new product? What you got there? We we, we have a new product. It's uh, by Ibex. Ooh, that's also nice. a Forest River product. But these are made for the off grid. Yes, sir. In other yeah. words, they have independent suspension. That's you know, the big one with big coil spring. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, which you know. I'm sorry, but you won't find that on a normal RV because it's expensive and they are really high end, yeah. really nice. Yes, but, uh, it really makes it nice. It's something that you get out traveling. You don't have to worry about other things. This uh, 2024 I'm talking about is a 19 B H E O, and uh, E O stands for Essentials Only. There it is. You know, so uh, it's it's high end, but yet it has everything that you really need. Yeah, bare bones, ready to be upgraded. Uh, list price thirty three seven seventy. Our sale price is twenty four two twenty two. What? So it's almost ten thousand off. And wow. uh, did I say it's a new product? I said it was a twenty twenty four. Yeah, man. We That's haven't incredible. had them that long. It's like, but well, uh, we're trying to put the word out because, uh, you know, they also have a picture of a Sasquatch on the side. Of oh yeah, Sasquatch a Yeti, mode. You know, Bigfoot. Big guy. <laughs> uh, so again, he's kind of like a shadow, just like he uh, really is. But yeah. And Ibex is a, a sure footed goat. That's right. That uh, that will go anywhere. Well, that's the idea between be, yeah. be, behind these. That's sure. They will go anywhere. Sure-footed. I like that. Yeah. Sure-footed goats. Yeah, that's uh, that was good. Yeah, and the ones that climb those uh, the wall. When you see them climbing up the damn wall. Yeah, the darn wall. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> you know Dam. what I meant. You know, in, the Hoover in, in Dam. Hoover Dam. The sometimes wall. you can see them sit. I mean, just almost yeah. straight up and down, and they're just hanging out. They're on the side of the side of the Hoover Dam. Yeah. Crazy. <laughs> How about the uh, 2023 Coachman Catalina Destination? Yeah, yeah. 40 BHTS. That's right. We got those at a special deal. I like it. You know, and if if, uh, if you're looking for a, 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 a vacation home or if you're looking for a, actually a place to even live in, these that's are it. awesome. Yeah, that's you know, fun. Still Coachman quality, which everybody knows Coachman's a higher higher quality vehicle than oh, yeah. most. You know, yes, sir. Uh, the list price on this sixty seven five. Our sale price is fifty two four. Woo! You know, that is a destination day tr uh, trailer with huge slide outs and all the amenities that you would expect in your own home. Fifteen thousand dollars saving. You know? It's still an R V uh license, uh licensed product. Okay. So it has uh, holding tanks and the slide rooms are power and all that. So you, you can technically use it as a travel trailer if you want to. Oh well, wow. okay. But, uh but it's really ideally, it's made to be put in a in a in a permanent site. They're not supposed to be tied down or on blocks. Okay, because again, they'll they'll have uh, stabilizing jacks on their own for it. Yep. They they have their own uh, ability to do that, but that saves you so much money in insurance. Yeah, man, that's pretty incredible. That's yeah. a fact. And uh, you know, with the pricing of uh, of rent of you know apartments and stuff oh, nowadays, yeah. this makes a lot of sense. Oh yeah. You know, you're kidding. What are benefits of staying at a campground? Usually, the power is included in your rate, the power and water, and all the all the amenities. amenities yeah, you, you, the the trash service. None of you get no bills for any of that. Anyway. It's all included in your camp. All in the rental. Yeah, you know, and apartments now are are like two grand for yeah. small ones. It's incredible. A month for a one so bedroom. You can own something. It's like a a mini house. Let's just put it that way. It's a yeah. mini house. You know, and they have yards that you don't have to maintain. Because the campground maintains them. It's incredible. You know, many uh, and, uh, and many of these campgrounds have wonderful pools and all kinds of uh, amenities. Amenities that in. your yeah. house development will not have. At all. No. And, you know, maybe some apartment complexes do. Yeah. But, uh, but still, even far and few. Yeah. That's a fact. Yeah. So, uh, again, that's an awesome opportunity. Yeah. We, ha we, uh, we have these at all locations. They are. They're huge. It's yeah. when you go in them, you are, you're really taken back of the size. We we stock two of them. This particular model one, they they have an option. One have, have will have two queen beds. Oh, oh. Or king beds. I'm sorry. One in the front, one in the back. Okay. So they're very far apart, 
or you have the king bed in the front, and then it's a it's a kid's bunkhouse. Oh, oh, in the back. So there. we we stock both of those at each location. Oh, that's pretty nice. So if you have old and you know an older person living with you, it keeps you separated. Oh, there you go. It's yeah. got, like I said, house style appliances. Yeah. It has uh, a house style uh, uh, furniture. Okay. You know, it's so, incredible. It comes with a mother-in-law suite. Pretty much, I'm talking a mother-in-law <laughs> suite, folks. Thank That's you. That's not. Hey, come by Winter Garden. We've got them here. I didn't want to give my locations. mother-in-law's ideas. But, you know, <laughs> Cousin, it's friends, friends <laughs> section. I'm sorry, Ma. I converted that to an office. Uh, how about the uh, a beautiful 24Q that's in our Winter Garden location? Oh, yeah. These coachmans are nice. Yeah. Well, that's a uh, an awesome coachman. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's a very nice coachman. Excellent. Uh, this is a, uh, a CrossFit, I think is what it is. Uh, no, it isn't. This is a Mercedes, isn't it? Yes. Yes, we Mercedes. Think it is. Yeah. Yep, to uh, a Mercedes diesel. So uh, yes, list price two twenty six, sale price one forty nine nine ninety seven. Yeah, yeah, seventy seven thousand off MSRP almost. This is a brand new, titled twenty four Q on on the high end Mercedes V six, ready to go. Yeah, and this is not a stripped down chassis either. No, you know I saw the uh, the Mercedes uh, passenger vans on this Sprinter okay uh, chassis at the Mercedes dealership, and they were like one hundred fifty thousand dollars. With just seats in it. Oh, jeez. Did you know that? No, I did not. That's yes. a lot for just so, seats. Yes. So oh. uh, these are a fantastic deal. Very. You know, not only can you sit in it, you can RV in it. There you go. So, uh, hey, folks, thank you for your time. If you have any uh, specific uh, items you'd like us to talk about in one of our podcast That's programs, right. or, or if you'd like to hear from one of our departments, uh, please sh- send us a shout out. Yes, and let email. us know. Yes, sir. I don't know if our website or our the page has the opportunity to email us directly, but uh, we'll work on that. Yes. But if not, Larry at grwrv dot com, you and go. you'll get me. Thank you for your time. We'll be right back in next week. See you with the baby. <laughs> Whether you're RV curious or ready to embrace the lifestyle, get empowered with the RV Hour podcast, powered by Giant Recreation World. RV Hour is an honest talk about living the RV life. Get useful tips, travel hacks, and answers to your questions.